What's going on guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got the top 50 summer transfers from this summer transfer window. It's not based on what players I think were the best transfers, it's the biggest overall fees. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it'll be a new video. And finally, in the comment section below, what was the best transfer in your opinion this window? Right, so what I'm going to do now is cover number 50 down to number 11 um, with music because if I was commentating every single one, it would go on for like 30 minutes. But yeah, I'll rejoin you in a little bit covering the top 10 and talking about them in more detail.
Right, so getting into number 10 then, we have got Romelu Lukaku. He joined Inter Milan from Manchester United and has a fee of around 65 million euros. It potentially could go up to I think 75 mil after bonuses, that's after amount of goal scored appearances and that won't be paid just yet. Rodri made the switch to Manchester City from Atletico Madrid and the English champions paid the 70 million euro release clause for him. Um, I think it's their most expensive transfer of all time, I could be wrong there. Um, but either way, he settled in very, very nicely already and he looks like the perfect fit for their type of squad. Frankie de Jong's move to Barcelona from Ajax was confirmed back in January, um, but of course the transfer only went through this summer transfer window. They paid 75 million euros to get him, but ability-wise and potential-wise, he has it all. Barca as a club might not have got off to the best of starts this campaign, but I think they'll come good eventually, especially the likes of Messi and that comeback from injury. Number 7 is going to be Nicola Pepe. He joined Arsenal from Lille for a club record fee of 80 million euros or 72 million pounds. So far, he seems to be impressing the Gunners fans and um, he's very, very good at dribbling. Like taking on his man, he seems very, very competent at doing so. As of right now, he's yet to score his first goal for them, but I think when he gets that first goal, they'll start flowing in. Another transfer that was announced ahead of the summer window is going to be Luca Hernandez. He made the switch from Atletico Madrid to Bayern Munich for a fee of 80 million euros. I'm not sure if he'll play centre back or left back for them, um, but for FIFA 20, he could be a very, very good card. De Ligt comes in at number 5, and his move to Juventus cost them around 75 million euros. I know that is less than the Luca Hernandez fee and Pepe, for example, um, but potentially, or it could rise up to 85 mil very, very soon. Transfer Mart do have him down as 85.5 million, and that's why he's number 5. Harry Maguire's move from Leicester City to Manchester United made him the world's most expensive defender. It was about £80 million, but in Euros it's £87 million, and um, that overtakes the fee Liverpool paid for Virgil van Dijk. He did impress a lot on his debut against Chelsea, and I think when he fully settles in, he'll be a very, very good centre-back for them, and especially for years to come. Eden Hazard is number three, and this transfer could technically reach to 135 million euros, but that could take a fair few years to reach. The base fee that Real Madrid paid Chelsea in the first place is 100 million or 90 million pounds. He's a player that stayed at Chelsea for a long, long time, and I think he definitely deserved the move to the Bernabeu. And um, despite them being a bit of a transitional phase because they've had to buy a lot of players in, I think it'll be a massive success for them. Antoine Griezmann is at number 2 and the Frenchman was linked to a move to Barca this time last year uh, but instead opted to stay at Atletico Madrid and sign a new contract. It was quite a controversial transfer eventually because Barca paid his release clause um, after July 1st of 120 million euros. But Atletico do apparently have an email suggesting that Barca technically could have to pay up to 200 million total so a further 80 million on top of what they've already paid. And the biggest transfer from this window is going to be Joao Felix. The 19-year-old wonder kid made the move from Benfica to Atletico Madrid, essentially to replace the number two Antoine Griezmann. He has already got his first La Liga goal, and uh, during pre-season, he was very, very impressive. There will be a lot of pressure on his shoulders because they paid a massive fee for him considering the amount of minutes he's really played in his career, uh, but he showed at Benfica how good he can be, and he's going to be a world star. But that guys is going to be it for this video, so if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an episode. My previous upload will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, that's when there'll be a new video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.